Hi, this is Mike uh, with the Strawberry Store. Uh, today I'm going to uh, do our first harvest from the Oscar bin. Uh, so we'll we'll get started here. The way the bin is set up, we've got this e these EMT pipes sticking out with uh, tech screws, and I've made a small handle that we can use to to turn them. So we'll start on one end and uh, turn each one a couple of times. To uh, add, there's uh, tech screws inside the bin. Uh, on these uh, EMT pipes that are going to uh, agitate the vermicompost and uh, bring some of it down uh, and then what we'll do is uh, as part of the next part of the harvest process is uh, pull the uh, trays out and see what we've got this is actually our first uh, harvest officially we have turned the pipes in the past a few times just to see how it works and and so forth, but uh, we found that it doesn't take more than a couple of turns of the pipe. Uh, somebody recently suggested to me, why don't you put a, a sprocket on these and, you know, uh, use some kind of motor or something to turn all of them at the same time, or turn all of them at the same time with your handle uh, by having them all connected together. Well, maybe. It really doesn't take too much time to do this, and uh, I'm not really when it comes to those kind of mechanical processes, I'm not really that good. So we'll, uh, we'll see what we get this way. So that's just a tedious little process of making the turns here. Okay, we'll get the, uh, the door off. The door has a couple of latches holding it on. Move the door off to the side. We use uh, this tray over here for uh, sifting out the uh, vermicompost. So let's uh, pull the first tray out and see what we've got. You can see there's uh, some uh, large pieces that came through. Uh, and there's some worms laying on the top here. What we'll do today is we'll just move these, uh, these worms back into the bin so that they can get back into a warmer environment and and do what they do best so let me move uh, some of this stuff around here open this up a bit so we can have a spot for the worms and then what we do is we just pour the material into this sifter not a lot of large pieces in here. There's not a lot, but some some worms in the bin, in the uh, tray rather. So we'll move this over here, and we'll sift this out. Try to rescue as many worms as we can out of here. We're kind of running low on vermicompost in our germination process right now so it's probably uh, perfect timing to to come up with some vermicompost that we can continue to use in our in our uh, system here rescue that guy okay I'm gonna pour all this stuff back into the bin doesn't really take a lot of time here's one that made it through the screen. It doesn't take a lot of time to to sift this out. I'm thinking right now we'll probably harvest uh, once or possibly twice a week. Not really sure yet. Depends on how much we get and kind of uh, take a look at what we're getting to see if, uh, if it's good, good uh, vermicompost. So it's going to be a trial and error for a little while until we get some experience doing this. Because we've sifted the larger pieces out of here a number of other times, or a couple other times, there's not a lot of large material in here. You can see that it's not a bad looking vermicompost. Uh, we could possibly screen it with a smaller screen too, but uh, this doesn't look too bad. It's got all the white specks in there are columbolids, um, and we've found that uh, 
most of the vermicompost in this bin and even in the digestion chamber has a lot of uh, colimbolids in it. Okay, let's finish this tray. Still a worm or two here and there. Try to get every one if we can. No worm left behind, as our motto goes. Okay, let's sift this out. Okay, probably what we'll do now is uh, pour this into a, a bucket, a storage bucket, uh, where we can uh, store it for a while until we actually need it as a soil amendment. And what we'll do in the tray is uh, we'll take some of the some of the moist we've moistened some uh, coir and we'll put some moist coir down here in the in the tray probably not quite that much so that uh, any worms falling through won't uh, won't dry out and die on us and any worms uh, that do fall through then we'll be able to uh, have something to feed on. We use a, a little handheld sprayer here to moisten everything. Let me grab that sprayer. It's a little pump up sprayer. I think it's getting low on water. But uh, we try to put a little bit of water on the materials down here. I check them every couple of days at least, or uh, sometimes daily if it's warm to make sure that uh, the materials down here aren't drying out. And if they are drying out, then we'll put a little bit of water on them. So that takes care of this tray. We'll uh, stop until uh, we pull out the second tray. We'll take a look at that one. Uh, let's see what we've got.